friends and welcome to my channel. If you are trying to find out more about ultra running shoes and specifically the women's ultra Torin 4.0 plush, then this is the video for you. I'm going to test out these shoes and review them and then let you know my final thoughts after I do a quick review on them just to start with to give you some basic information about the shoes. Then I'm gonna test them out for several weeks maybe even a couple months, and let you know the results of how I like them because I have never worn these shoes before. So by the end of this video, I will tell you exactly what I thought and if I'm gonna stick with them or not. Um, so this is the Ultra Torin 4.0 Plush for women. And some of the unique features about these shoes are they are a minimalist shoe, which is why I decided to give them a try. Most people run with shoes that have a thick heel and then they drop down to the toe, but that's not how our feet are naturally designed. And so the minimalist way of running is to keep basically as flat a foot as possible. And rather than have this shoe that cushions every little part of your foot and tries to protect it, the idea is instead to train your feet and your ankles and your knees and your muscles to get stronger and to work properly the way they should be. So rather than babying our feet, we actually strengthen them to help reduce all of these pain when actually a lot of them are coming from running shoes. My previous running shoes do have, or they were built for stability because I am a heel striker and I have knee pain, so they're stability shoes. And I found that actually my knee pain started to get a little bit worse after a few months of use with them. I noticed they started to feel really heavy and um, they did give good ankle support because I have weak ankles, but they just are feeling heavy and I'm still having pain. And so I want, I'm starting to drift more towards the minimalist approach. And the reason why I chose these ones in particular, the plush, is that they feel like walking or running on marshmallows. Like it is super cushioned, super comfortable, super soft. The ones for women are actually have, it's Ultra has a special fit for her. So the shoes are designed a little bit more uniquely for women's feet, which are a little bit more narrow around the mid midfoot. So they kind of are contoured for that. Um, another unique thing is that the toe box, so the front of the foot, is much wider than most shoes and so it allows for your toes to actually kind of spread out rather than being jammed in there together, um, which is again a more natural fluid way of running is to give space and room for your feet to your toes to move and to respond and to be strengthened um, rather than constrained inside of a shoe. Um, these shoes are also eight and a half ounces, although I measured them on my home scale and they came out at 8.3. I compared them to my previous shoes or my current shoes, which are about a little bit over 10 ounces. Um, so there is a pretty good weight difference and I have, like I said, been feeling like my shoes are really heavy. So I'm really excited to try out these lightweight shoes. Also, one other note about the shoes, they do run a little bit big, so normally I wear probably an eight, sometimes a seven and a half, depending on the type of shoe. I think my current running shoes are an eight. In the Torn Plush, I got a 7.5, just found that the eight were a little bit too big, and I think I've read so, some other people also say they tend to run a little bit big. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing is testing out these shoes, which by the way, come in three colors, I think, right now. Uh, I'm gonna test them out for the next couple weeks because Although the idea of minimalist running and a super cushioned, comfortable shoe is awesome, it could turn out that in the long run they're actually not good for my knees or for my ankles or back or something. So I'm gonna test them out while continuing to run, work on my running form. And I will let you know kind of as I go how it turns out and if I think these are a good shoe and worth keeping. So here we go, let's get started. So I just got back from my first run with the Ultras. Um, good run, about four miles, nothing too crazy, but good enough to kind of test how they're gonna feel. A few things that I noticed are, one, they do feel amazing to run in. Super cushioned, it's just, they're just comfortable to run in. Um, and because of just that design of the shoe and the, the cushion and the zero drop, um, I noticed that it's actually almost hard to heel strike, which is what I'm trying to avoid doing. Um, it almost felt unnatural to heel strike, so it was much more um, natural to land kind of right in the middle of my foot or on my toes. So that felt a lot easier, like I didn't have to think so much about what I was doing when I was running. Um, I noticed too the, the um, front foot or like the toe box 
to me doesn't feel as wide or spacious as it is supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be open and give more room for your toes to move around. Um, the top almost felt like it was kind of squishing down a little bit. Maybe that's just because they're new and it'll change over time. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I did notice the weight difference. They do feel much lighter and more comfortable than my current shoes. I had a little bit of ankle pain and a little bit of knee pain just in one knee. So, so we'll see how that changes or develops or stays the same over time with these shoes. That's kind of, I mean, that's a main reason I got them is to see how that changes. So um, other than that, great experience running in them, super comfortable, um, lightweight, great shoes. So I really enjoyed the run. I'm just gonna see what the next couple of weeks bring in terms of pain in my joints. All right, so this morning I did a treadmill run, which is the first time I've done with the Ultras. Um, and it felt great, actually. It, I mean, the shoes feel great all around, but I guess being on a treadmill, that always feels a little bit better anyway, but it just felt super marshmallowy, super soft, very easy to run. Again, still very, um, very easy to run flat-footed, kind of hit mid-foot strike versus um, heel striking. So felt really great, the run felt easy. I went for about six miles, kind of easy pace. And everything felt really good. Um, I still had a little bit of hip, knee, and ankle pain near the end, like the last mile. But that's kind of normal regardless of the shoe, so I don't know if that has much to do with this. I mean, it's not preventing it so far, but it's not making it any worse, that's for sure. Um, a couple of things I have noticed, or just also want to kind of continue to mention. Um, I didn't mention before, the shoelaces are so super long, not a huge deal, but just something to note about the shoe. So this part, as I kind of mentioned before, it feels like it's like pressing down on my feet. Um, so that's not the most comfortable in the world, although today I didn't really notice it as much. So I'm still kind of waiting to see if it's just a, like you need to break it in kind of thing, or if it's gonna continue to be that way. So that so far is just kind of the only thing that's bugging me about this shoe. Otherwise, it still feels super great. Run on the treadmill was awesome. Hello again. So I am now in month three of using the Ultra Torin Plush 4.0. Um, I want to kind of give you an update on things. I've continued to do some long runs, about five to six miles, um, and then some treadmill runs, a lot of shorter treadmill running. And then I've also been working on hill repeat. So taking these shoes to more of an incline where I'm running more on my toes, trying to work on speed. So I've done a few of those and so far they've gone great. I haven't had any issues with like um, shin soreness, shin splints, things like that that I um, sometimes have gotten in the past from other shoes. So everything so far is continuing to go really great. The shoes feel awesome. Um, I've used my old pair of shoes a couple of times um, for just different reasons and it was like such a disappointment to have to use those shoes because now I'm so used to the awesome cushioning on here that it's kind of hard not to use these. Like it makes the idea of running so much more enjoyable because they're so comfortable. I have noticed that there's a lot more of my calves being used and my like Achilles tendon, like that whole area of my leg is a lot tighter. So I am having to work on stretching and rolling that a lot more because of now running more flat footed and more on my like ball on my foot instead of heel striking, it does create more tension in the, the calf muscles. Um, so you just have to watch out for that. Keep that stretch, rolled, um, massage, everything you can to keep blood flowing and keep that loose or else you can end up with a lot of tightness there and potentially an injury. So just a note if you are trying to switch to something um, like the Ultra Torin Blush. It's not feeling so heavy, so really easy to get up and down the hill. Feels good going both uphill and downhill. Haven't noticed any issues or major pain or anything like that. So, so far, everything I've tried with the shoes have been awesome. So at this point, I'm going to kind of wrap up, give you a summary of my review on the shoes and let you know ultimately what I think and what I would recommend. Here is my overall review is that I really like the shoes. Um, I wasn't sure at the beginning because there was kind of some getting used to it and discomfort, um, but I really like the minimalist thing. I actually do feel like it's kind of helped with my knee and ankle pain a little bit. Um, I do still get it maybe around five miles, but it's not as frequent, not always as intense. And I do think the knee pain has gotten quite a bit better from my older shoes. I think something about that was exacerbating 
Um, the knee pain, maybe just because it allowed me to kind of heel strike more or because they were heavier, I'm not sure. Those shoes do give a little bit more ankle support, which this kind of misses that a little bit. It doesn't give quite as much structure and support around the ankle as some shoes, um, but overall I do feel like it's helping me to run with better form, which then reduces all of the pain from the knees and ankles. And my hips haven't really been bothering me either, and that was kind of a previous issue as well. So, so far loving it for that. Um, I did mention in the toe box that it's kind of felt like it was like squishing down on my toes a little bit. Um, still there a little bit. I've actually been stuffing socks inside of them when I'm not wearing them just to kind of help keep that open. So in between that and just getting more used to it, I'm not noticing that as much. Like I'm not feeling quite as crunched in there. Um, so that's probably the one thing I just don't love about the shoe. I just wish it was more comfortable right here. Other kind of downside is the laces are very long, so you're probably gonna have to tie them up a little bit extra. Um, so overall, I would definitely recommend trying these shoes just based on my experience. Of course, everyone's feet are different. They're just physiology is different, so not every shoe is gonna work for everyone. But if you're interested in kind of going a little bit more minimalist and getting out of the really structured supportive shoes and I would recommend these. Um, and I, have a, I am a over pronator, so some people might say this is not good for that, but I wanted to try it to see if I can just strengthen my feet, improve my running form, so I don't have to worry about that so much and maybe even correct some of that. So for some people like me, they not, may not be great, but I found them to be great so far. Um, and then definitely if you don't need as much of that support for pronation, then they're probably a great thing to try. The cushion is amazing. Um, Comfort, look, design, I mean, I like how they look, cool colors, cool design. Um, the toe box isn't as wide as some of the other ultras, so they're not as like awkward looking. Um, and then I would just note too, if you are kind of switching to more of a minimalist design, that it's best to use the shoes, but then kind of go back and forth between your old shoes and these shoes as you get used to it. Um, Cause it does take some getting used to and different muscles are gonna, get tighter and work differently. So for safest um, use and to avoid injury, it's best to kind of swap back and forth and gradually build more and more miles on the new shoes. So I'm gonna stick with these. I'm gonna take them through a couple of triathlons, see how they do. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who might like to know more about these shoes. And if you have any additional comments or questions about these shoes, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can find me at renewalfitcoach.com for more fitness tips, information, and product reviews. Thanks so much for watching and good luck with your running adventures.